episode three of Plus Size Elf came out today, which is Plus Size Elf Saturday. This is what it is now. And when it comes down to it, not gonna lie, it has some pretty fine ass angles of the two elf chicks from before. The stackage, the angles, the cakes, the absolute just cheeks of each lady is looking pretty damn good. I mean, if you're gonna just sit there and just gaze at that the entire episode, I would not have a problem. I would not have a problem in the slightest. My ass is gonna be more active than a homeless man in a absolute weird ass city that don't necessarily like homeless people, but then give them crack for some reason and still just be on some energy, but then don't help them at all because they just like to see him suffer. What kind of example was that? I don't know. But point is, the elf cheeks made me want to act up. Anyway, we get to see the ogre lady from the previous episode that was basically they were talking about how she was in the sauna, kind of just scaring the hell out of people and all that type of stuff. And she's actually having the weirdest build I think I've ever seen. She looks strong as hell here, strong ass arms, upper body and everything. But then when you really look into the detail, you're like, wait, how does this make sense? First of all, soft ass titties, which I have no problem problem whatsoever. Would definitely like to dive in between because those titties looking mad soft though. Then flabby, well I wouldn't say flabby, but still fat ass stomach when it comes down to it and it's just like wait so you have strong ass arms like you Mirako, you have some soft ass titties like your Rias, and then you have a fat ass stomach like Carl from Jimmy Neutron. What the hell is happening here? I'm super confused. For some reason would clap so yes i basically would change my mind yeah she might drink a little bit of beer too much and that's definitely not something i would be down for but still she can drink my nut as well so that's just how it is so when it comes down to oga i would definitely give her some type of action like try to do some things even though she's probably gonna manhandle the hell out of my ass and throw me across the wall while trying to get something and you know i'm pretty much gonna be dead after the fact when it comes down to it but still nonetheless i would be perfectly happy clapping the cheeks of Oga and Mero the second girl not gonna lie not really too interested in to be honest because I ain't gonna lie the way anime does fish women doesn't really intrigue me at all like this is the second fish woman I've seen in anime that I do not really have a super huge drive for and also she shares a name with another girl from another monster girl anime called Mero which you know so if I had you know a whole nickel every time there was like an anime girl that was a fish that end up calling themselves Mero, I would have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's strange that it happened twice. But basically her whole issue was that she has, you know, a pretty good build, but still she has flabby kind of arms. She has extra fat on them, but still they try to actually give you really actual real advice about how to take care of yourself or like how to do certain ways of how do you get the, you know, muscle kind of working with your skin back in some way like kind of rubbing against like your armpits underneath your armpits i should say and i think that's like how you get your latch stretched out which if that's actually like the way that's supposed to go and that's like real advice then good job on this anime for actually giving some real deal irl advice honestly but still nonetheless yeah that's not the main thing i want to talk about the main thing i want to talk about is how she keep going out of her fish form and into human form and kind of go back into that because if she doesn't necessarily take a certain type of medicine, she will end up trying to, you know, go back into her mermaid fish form, where she takes maca medicine. Now, you probably don't know what the hell that is, but I looked it up, and essentially, it helps increase your libido, it basically makes you more fertile, and just gives you some type of energy as well. So when it comes down to it, it's a horny plant medicine. She's drinking horny plant medicine, which explains why she's from the sea, because she probably wettered in all my days, honestly, as the British people would say. She's probably wettered than the actual sea itself probably made the whole statement of water being wet and just actually just meaning it's actually her own vagina so that's just how it is i would go with oga for this one because at least oga does have a bit more i guess things to do with and even though again you would probably get manhandled into the ground you will honestly get pounded so damn hard by oga that your ass will be basically like superman getting his ass beat by doomsday and injustice one so yeah it's not necessarily gonna be a pretty sight but hey at least she's drinking your nut and that's like the main focus and things and besides she does look kind of cute in the face right so 
we take what we can get honestly you know just don't drink near me because yeah you might gonna be going a little too crazy in the bedroom my ass don't have the spine the legs and definitely the energy to keep up with someone that's drunk as hell but strong as shit like i, I psh, no i'm good i i will sit in the corner and wait thank you 